Hello and welcome to UAW Update Week 4 Spring Session. I'm Jordan. UAW has again shone in the Good Universities Guide. The stars were awarded across nine categories. UOW outperforming competition to place itself in the front line of Australian universities. With the election just around the corner, candidates from Throsby and Cunningham have been faced with questions from students and staff during a public forum. The audience keen to be heard. So little of this election has actually been about what people stand for or politicians honestly answering questions about their policy or how they would actually bring it in or what it would mean for ordinary people. The meeting organised by WUSA to give students and staff the chance to listen to and question the policies of rival parties. I thought it was a really good opportunity to get um, a lot of people who have a lot of different opinions to hear from the people who are actually going to be representing them. A little bit raucous at the end, but that was, that was good, you know, it's nice, like everyone being able to express themselves and, and um, get to hear about issues that are really important to them. I think that the community broadly has been having some of these conversations for quite a while now and so it is a challenge for all of us as candidates at the election to talk about what our future vision is for that. The candidates also eager to hear what the students had to say. It's good to hear what the future of our country is thinking. The key issues put forward by the audience were climate change and same-sex marriage, with students putting the pressure on the candidates to present solutions. But I actually have a lot of um, faith in our capacity to find solutions by putting the pressure on us to find new and better, different and better ways to do things. It, it's, it's always a challenge. The newest building at the Innovation Campus has officially opened, with a special guest marking the occasion. Therese Rain officially opened the Cod building, named in honour of her close friend and former Vice-Chancellor, Michael Codd. Named after this wonderful, creative, caring, rational person, Mike Codd. It's very exciting indeed, and it's wonderful she could be here to do it. The Codd building is a joint venture between the Faculty of Creative Arts and Illawarra TAFE. It is home to the Sydney Business School and the Digital Media Centre. Nothing better than working in a cutting edge industry in um, an innovative state of the art building. Facilities are fantastic. It inspires people to do their very best. The $20 million building boasts high tech facilities including a film and television studio, animation room and specialised recording equipment. There's no reason that we shouldn't have the best university in the world right here on our doorstep. A recent look at enrolment records has shown that the number of postgraduate students at UAW has increased dramatically since the global financial crisis. This year's figures show there's over 3,600 students enrolled in a postgraduate degree. That's over a thousand more than in 2007. Career Centre Manager Martin Smith says further study increases the chance of getting a better job with a better wage. Um, when you look at those that are in full-time work at the end of further study, it's above those at undergraduate level and also those starting salaries. Um, what we're seeing nationally is that they're above average. Future postgraduate student Samuel Barguana says he is hoping a second degree will give him an edge over others in his field. I think that if you really want to get ahead in the world and get to the very top, you've got to do postgraduate and really nail a, a, a nail a certain area of study that's you know really going to be the focus of your further careers. I think that you know at Wollongong there is a, a very wide um, range of postgraduate courses offered, and a lot of uh, the students down here really want to get ahead and really want to further their education down here. Many of us take the ability to swim for granted, having grown up near the beach. But for many international students and refugees, it's a different story. It was last year there was a student who um, lived at International House who um, drowned at a beach locally and we felt that that was the start of um, the idea. The OW Community Impact Team is launching a new water safety campaign aimed at the refugee community and international students. The campaign will provide education on safe surf practices and swimming lessons. We'll be doing a day with the um, surf life saving um, down here at Wollongong um, about how to identify rips, um, the whole thing about swimming between the flags, the basics of how to swim as well um, and also just things like slip slop slap, all those sorts of things. The program will also include a fishing safety workshop. About not encouraging things like rock fishing because it's so dangerous as well, how to fish in little dinghies and estuary fishing, those sorts of things. The Red Cross Blood Bus will be on campus this week. Students and staff are being urged to donate blood as national blood stocks are low. One in three people will need blood at one point in their life, so every donation helps. It's so important, you never know who's going to need your assistance, so everybody should really get involved. In other health news, the campus doctor will be holding free health checks for women on Tuesday. For more information, contact the campus doctor. 
Local DJs were in spin for the first heat of the National DJ Competition. It's the first time in a few years that UOW has participated in the event that now attracts 40 universities. With the changing dynamic of the local DJs and that sort of thing that we thought it was worthwhile putting on this year because we have a few around campus that really wanted to get that exposure. The winner, Simon Jackson, aka Zoology, will take on the winner of the second heat for a chance to compete at the next stage of the competition. And that is UOW update for week four spring session. I'm Jordan Trudinik and from all of us here at UOW TV, have a great week. <laughs>